Sacramento's $3 billion a year tourism industry has been crippled by this outbreak. Just a month ago, many businesses were forced to close. Many others had to severely limit their operations, like the restaurant behind me, Mulvaney's B&L. But as California statewide restrictions start to show promising results, the business community here is hopeful. So for 14 years, the B&L has been open serving dinner and lunch, and uh, all of a sudden, it wasn't there anymore, right? Things seemingly changed overnight for restaurant owners like Patrick Mulvaney, as it did for much of the region. And when restrictions on restaurants are eased, things are still going to look different than they did before the pandemic, with people needing to practice social distancing while eating and drinking. You may be having dinner uh, with a waiter wearing gloves, maybe a face mask, uh, dinner where the menu is disposable. The strain on the state's restaurants, devastating says Jot Condi, who heads the California Restaurant Association. Um, there's a likelihood that, you know, 20 to 30 percent of the restaurants uh, that existed four weeks ago won't reopen. More than a third of the state's 1.4 million food service workers have been laid off, though framework laid out by California's Governor Gavin Newsom Tuesday has business leaders hopeful. I think May 1 is not going to happen. Um, but I think by May 15th, I think I think we're going to be in uh, great shape to resume work. 